Hey guys, today I wanted to share with you something that has been going on behind the scenes for the last two years. So we have been building our custom house for the last almost two years and it's still under a little bit of construction, but we are moving in tomorrow. So I wanted to just kind of show you an empty house tour before we get everything in there. My style is a little bit more transitional. So let's go ahead and get started with this empty house tour. So I'm kind of just gonna start from the inside, but show you the front entry door, just because we can't come up. The steps are not completed, so we can't come up to the front door yet. So here is the front entryway. It's just your double wood door with the glass panels. And then here is the light for the front entryway. I love the artistic look. It is one of the integrated LED lights. And then you can see on each side, these two doors, those are coat closets and they are identical coat closets. Nothing special about them. They just are a good place for coats. So as you can see, it's just one shelf with a hanging rack and the other one is identical to it and it's on the other side. And then there's our iPad for the smart home. We do have a smart home, so everything is completely wired in for that. And this is the other coat closet right here. So there's the coat closet and I'll kind of just show you. This is the living room area that also opens into the kitchen. So you have this area right here, that's the living room, recessed lights throughout, and then this ceiling fan I fell in love with. It has a lot of crystals on it, and it's just a really nice ceiling fan. So then you have the built-ins. Our cabinet makers did special make the built-ins, and then we will have the TV above the fireplace. The fireplace is not completed yet, but it is so nice. It is one of the heat and glow. So then you have where the air comes out at the top. They still have to bring the vent for that. And then I did decide to complete the look around it with some stacked stone, kind of glitters. I just love this give you up close. All the grays that go throughout, it just really does glitter in there and I just love the way that looked. But I liked the linear look to the fireplace and it also has the crystals that'll be at the bottom. So all the little glass crystals will be at the bottom. They just haven't come to complete that. They don't have the switch for it yet. So that is still a work in progress, but it'll be so spectacular once it does get done. It's gonna be like a showstopper. I'm really excited about this fireplace because you can also do changing lights in it. So it's LED changing lights and just love it. So then you have the door to the back patio, which is again, not complete, but we have to move into this house because we have to be out of our rental house. So this was the only chance that I could give you a empty tour. So we do have a wood burning fireplace outside. The one you just saw was a gas and then we're going to have a complete outdoor kitchen. So hopefully that will be soon and I can show you that. But as of right now, it is a work in progress. So spinning around from the living room is the kitchen. So it's completely open to the living room. And I just love this eight foot island. So the island has gray cabinets. And then let me just show the countertop. So every countertop that you're gonna see in the laundry, all of the bathrooms are quartz. So I will put down the color of this one in case anybody does like that one. And then the cabinet is like a light gray. It's Sherwin-Williams Dorian gray is the color of it. But then all of the other cabinets in the kitchen are alabaster, I believe it is. So they are a white color. So I do have Bosch appliances and you can see that is a microwave on the top and then the oven on the bottom. And then the cooktop is also a Bosch and it's an induction. So this will be the first time I will be using an induction cooktop. So that will be a learning curve for me. And then I kind of wanted to show you the backsplash you can see it does shine when the sun comes in. It's, I love it. I just love how it shines. It's just so pretty. I just love it. And then I want to show you two special cabinets that I'm really excited about. So the first one is this one that pulls out and it has the little place for your utensils to go. And then you can put like your oils or some of your cooking products that are a little bit higher. Then you can put them in that and keep them away. And then I love how big the pot 
drawers are. So I can stack some pots up here, some taller pots. I love that. And there are double ones underneath the stove top. And then I also wanted to show this one too, because I had this one special made. This is your spice rack. So I just love to be able to put all the spices there and have them really close to the cooktop. And then we will spin around here and still have a bobcat in the back. There's a lot of groundwork that has to be done outside as well. I mean, we are just ready to move in. We have to move in, but it, things are still happening. And then the dishwasher is a Bosch dishwasher as well. So I can link everything down below for you guys. The lots, I love the lots over the island. So it's an eight-foot island, so I did have to pick up two of the pendant lots so as you can see on the top, they are separated out, but I just love how they sparkle and shine. And there's lots of storage space in this island. I just love that. And then the refrigerator is an LG. So that's the only thing in the kitchen that is not a Bosch. And the light comes on. So that's really good. And then it also has this feature right here where you can just hit that and it doesn't open all the way. It just opens this part where you can have some drinks or something easy access to. Or if you decide that you don't want to just open that part, you can open the entire refrigerator. So I thought I'd kind of pan out and just kind of let you see what the kitchen area looks like from the living room. And then we'll just go on down the hall here to the dining room. So love the light in this dining room as well. The electrician that put it together absolutely did not like it, but I think it is so pretty. Just look how pretty this is. I cannot wait to get my table in here and it will look so pretty. So this is the dining room. Does have your recessed lights also. I have recessed lights throughout the entire house. And then as you go down the hallway here, this is the pantry. So it does have your barn style door, but it does kind of mimic the cabinets and the whole shaker style look. And then the pantry, we did have the closet people custom make this as well. So here is the pantry. I love that I do have this area right here where I can put some taller things if I don't have enough cabinet space. And then it goes all the way up to the ceiling. And I just love all the organization for this pantry. Even though it's a smaller pantry, it's gonna have a lot of space to be able to put lots of stuff. And then I know some people are like, why do you have it all the way to the ceiling? But I do garden, so I do can a lot of stuff. So I plan to store that stuff up at the top. So that is the pantry. And then just close that up and we will go on down this hallway. And this is my husband's office. So, this is his office and that's where the TV will be hung. And then here are the ceiling fans that are in the office and most of the bedrooms. They're just a really antique-ish gray. I think it goes with the color of the walls. And then this door goes to our utility room, which I will not be showing you. That's where our security cameras are and the tower and everything for all of the smart home. And then when you come out of the office. We'll go on down to the mudroom. So there are four of us that live here. So I wanted to make sure that we had a place for each one of us. So for the mudroom, we have the place at the bottom so we can put all our shoes. Each one of us will have our own little cubby and then we'll put the hooks on here so the boys can hang their backpacks and their jackets. And then we do have the doors up at the top so we can hide some things. And this is the entry into the garage, which is don't even have garage doors up. We are moving in without garage doors. And it's a three car garage, but I'm not even gonna go out there. And then there's the other iPad for the control system for the house. And then you will see the laundry room. So I do want to point out the floor. I love this. This is that luxury vinyl tile, but it looks like marble. I just love the way that this looks, but it's a really durable flooring and then the countertop on this one is the same as the kitchen the island in the kitchen and around the cabinets as well and then i love the utility sink because this is where i hand wash all my stuff and it's really good and deep and i just think that that's a good space for that and then i do have this drawer that has a trash can in it so that that's hidden 
you never know. And then I do have some special things in here I'm so excited about as well. So let me shut the door so I can show you. So I do have a countertop, which is the perfect height where I can fold clothes and it's just a really good height. But I wanna show you these drawers right here. So these are the laundry baskets, completely hidden, I love it. So there's two in this one and then the one beside it also has some laundry baskets as well. And then this is just a really tall cabinet. It's gonna be great storage. It almost goes to the ceiling. The ceilings throughout the house are 10 foot ceilings. And then over here is a broom closet. So I did wanna have a space to be able to put mop, broom, bucket, vacuum, and not have it sitting around. So this is a taller space for that. So this is the laundry room. So I kinda wanted to pan out and just let you see. They're also doing some work over here on the wall. And I want to show you the light in here. I don't think it's really picking up, but it is a glam light. It has all these crystals. It looks like crushed crystals on there, but on the video it's showing up as just like, I don't know, just like a white light, but it's absolutely gorgeous, you guys. So I turned it off to see if maybe you could see a little bit better how much crystal and bling that has. I think you might could see it a little bit better on the video with it actually off. It's a gorgeous, it's just so gorgeous and it does really look so good when it's lit up, but for some reason it is just wanting to show really bright when I turn it on. And you really can't see the crystal look to it. Actually, that is perfect. It's so this door goes to the upstairs. We don't have a full upstairs. It's just a bonus room upstairs. So we will go up here and they are not finished with the upstairs. So this is just gonna be a work in progress, but I did think that I would go ahead and show you since it is part of the house. So we do have a little bit of a half bath up here. It kind of has the ceiling that comes down because it is over the garage. So you can see in here has the same kind of flooring as downstairs. The vanity was one that we picked up at either Lowe's or Home Depot. I can link it. It's just a simple vanity gray with a square because all of our sinks are square. So just a little small half bath. So when the kids are upstairs in their bonus room, they don't have to go downstairs. And it's just one big bonus room, as you can see. Recessed lights and then the ceiling fans. I don't have the lights. I just wanted ceiling fans. So there you can see they have that gray look to them as well. And then our little attic doors. And as you can see, yes, there is a lot of stuff that still needs to be done. We do have an additional outdoor building that we put out there as well. So this is the bonus room upstairs. So now we're back downstairs and you can see the mudroom is over here right as you come in from the garage. And as you go down the hallway, it does have the laundry room right here. Office over here pantry, which I think this sliding barn door is perfect for this because it's right in the hallway. And then the dining room, the kitchen, my favorite place. And there is the living room and we will go into those rooms in just a moment, but we will come over here to the master. And then there's the gorgeous light. These lights are just not showing up real good on camera. How beautiful these lights are. I love all these lights, but I will put links for these lights because all of my lights came from Home Depot. So I will put a link in case you wanna like see those if you're doing any kind of redecorating or remodeling and want some new lights, I will link those for you. So this is the master and then look at this gorgeous light. Such a beautiful light, you guys. It's just not showing up. And then we do have a door that will go out to our covered patio, but as of now, it's an outdoor kitchen. It's just not done yet, and we are running out of time, so we have to move in. So here's the master. Has the same ceiling fan as in the living room with that really pretty crystal look on the bottom of it. And then as you can see, there's still holes in the ceiling for our speakers for our smart home. So they have part of the smart home done. And then another thing that I wanted to make sure since we were building it was, I know it might not make a difference to anybody, but I did want to make sure that I had these outlets that had the USC plugins in there. So you don't have to worry about a plug-in because most things are going with USC, but we do have a few rooms that have the USC and USB combo. So that's a good, something to think about. 
is the receptacles. Okay, so here is the master bath. Again, it has that same light as you first come in to the master bedroom. So over here, you're gonna see just the toilet room. And then this door is to the master closet. This is my space, you guys. This is all for me and I'm so excited about it. So I did have the closets custom made, have some hanging shelves, double hang places for my handbags. And then I did want to put this little dresser in here so I could have some, probably this is gonna be my sunglasses in the first drawer. And then I haven't decided what else I'm gonna put in here, but I love that. And then of course I have a return in here. So we had to work around this return. I was not happy that that was in my closet, but it has to be somewhere. And then shelves here. Corner shelves, double hanging again, some more double hanging. I have a lot of clothes, so I needed a lot of hanging space. And then this one is gonna be a tall hanging for longer dresses. And I also like to have my um, pants hung as well. So this will be for the tall dresses because you can see how tall that is. And then these are a little bit taller than the double hang, so I will put all my pants here as well. And then some places for shoes and handbags up above it. And then I have all the space on the top where I can put shoes and handbags if I run out of space. And then some more double hanging over here. So really excited to get started playing around and putting my clothes in this closet. And it's just for me. We did add on to the house so that my husband could have his own closet. So I just love this floor. So this is the luxury vinyl tile that I was telling you about in the laundry room. It is in all the bathrooms as well. So this is the same as what you saw in the laundry and the kitchen as well. And then here are the vanity lights, which again are just not showing up as pretty as they are. We don't have any mirrors or anything in yet. Another thing that we have to get. And then here is my favorite place that I'm so excited about yet. So we did just tile up here and I just love the tile on here. So I know people are going away from the jetted tubs, but I did want an air bath. So you see the little holes at the bottom. So this is one of your air jets. It's not one of the Whirlpool ones. It's the cleaner air jet. So it's just gonna be my sanctuary right here. So I just love the way it also has the window to frame it as well. And then here is my husband's shower. So he wanted to make it to where it was big enough where he wouldn't have to have some kind of door. So there's a little bench over here and this is the same tile as over here by the tub. And then I love the floor tile. I think it's so beautiful. So this is a pretty good size shower, as you can see. And then I didn't want to drain in the middle, so I do have one of the linear drains at the end. It's kind of sloped so everything can drain in there. And to get some natural light, we did want to have some kind of window. So he does have his rain shower head and then also a regular shower head and then your handheld. So he can do two things at one time, but not all three at the same time. So also, he wanted to have a shelf, so this was built in before the tub was finished, so I really like that too. I think it's a great place to be able to put things because this is a rather large shower. So, as you can see, it's a pretty good size. I think it's seven foot or eight foot long. So, that is his shower. And then, this is his closet here. So, he wanted his closet actually in the back as well. So we got him some shelves so he can put some of his things right there and then another dresser that mimics mine. I just have some prettier hardware on mine and then he wanted a double hang everywhere. So we have double hang closets for him. And then we will go back out to the master. And then there's another one of those gorgeous lights. I love those lights, you guys. And then we have our linen cabinet that we had made up right here, so it matches the cabinets as well. So here is the master bath. Beautiful shower, I just love the shower. I think the shower turned out really good. I'm so pleased with it. So now we're gonna come out of the master through the kitchen, and then we will go to the other side of the house. I'm so excited when this fireplace gets completely done. I think it'll be really a beautiful centerpiece with the built-ins beside it. So this, they are still doing touch-up paint work as well, so they've put all of their stuff in here. But this we had added on to the living room so that the boys could have a place to study. So we're gonna have 
one desk over here for one of them and then the other one will have a desk over here. So this will be kind of like our kids study here, but of course disregard this. This was the only time I would be able to do an empty house tour though, because we were gonna be moving some stuff in tomorrow, even though they're still doing construction. And then this room, I'm so excited about. This is my YouTube room. So I built this to try to get the best lighting that I could. I've been so dissatisfied with the lighting of my videos. So I'm hoping that this is good. I do have six recessed lights. So I wanted to make sure I had lights in all the corners and in the middle of the room. And then I also have the center fan. I don't think we have bulbs in it. I think that's why that's not in. Um, and then I wanted to have natural light coming from here. So I have natural light from this side. I have natural light from this side. And then I have the six lights along the sides and then the center light. So I'm hoping with all of these lights, the natural light and my ring light, that I will be able to make some better videos for you guys. So I'm going to have to get this decorated up. This will be where I film all my fashion try-ons. And also if I do any bag reviews or anything like that, comparisons, I plan to do them here. So I'm really excited about having this room all to myself and just being able to hopefully give y'all some good videos. But this is considered a bedroom, so it does have a closet. So we just have a small little double hang area in here. And then it does have a bathroom in case it does become a guest bedroom or anything. Then we do have its own bathroom. Every bedroom has its own bathroom. I wanted to make sure that the kids didn't have to share one, that they could have their own. So there are the vanity lots for this one. And you will see these in a couple of the other bathrooms. So this is a different quartz countertop. So the only two quartz countertops that we have is the one that's that darker gray and then you're seeing this one that's a little bit more white that has the gray striations throughout it. Also, all the sinks are these color sinks that are the square and they kind of go down in like a diamond. I think it's really cool how these are made. And then our custom made cabinets for this one. And the same flooring, the luxury vinyl tile. And then you have the bath. It's just a regular bath, a fiberglass bathtub in this one. So this is the bathroom for what we have been calling my YouTube room, which I'm so excited to start filming some videos in here. So we're gonna walk out of the YouTube room and then we will go around to the other side of the fireplace, which is considered the kids wing. So we do have a door. We wanted to kind of block it off in case when they get older, because this is gonna be our forever home. If they wanted a little bit of privacy or whatever, then they have their own privacy. So right here is the powder room. And there's a little issue with um, a leak in here already. So there is the powder room. So this will be the main bathroom. This has the same kind of countertop as the master and the kitchen and the laundry room. But this is a white cabinet on here. And then here are the vanity lights. This was a transitional. Most of the style here is transitional style. I just, that's my sense. All the bling that you see is just a traditional style. So here's the powder room. And then coming out of the powder room, you will come around to the first bedroom that's over here. So there's a total of four bedrooms and four bathrooms that are in the bedrooms. And then we have the two half baths. So this is Jackson's room. He wanted two windows so he can feed the deer. We have a lot of deer on our property, so he's super excited about that. Same kind of ceiling fan that was in their study and in the office as well. And then he has a closet and he has the same issue as me. He has return in his closet, but we were able to try to organize the best we could. His return takes up this entire wall. So we do have double hanging here for him, double hanging here. And then he has these shelves. So this is a small closet, but we were able to make the best of it with all the organization in there. And then same kind of flooring in all of the bathrooms. And then the gray cabinets, and then you have the wider, the lighter color countertop. And then I wanna show you this faucet because he kinda of wanted a waterfall faucet. So it does have more of that waterfall look, but then it has the twisted water. So the water twists as it go down. So he thinks that's so cool. This is the same kind of vanity as you saw in the YouTube bathroom. And then just your regular shit. All of these bathtubs are the same kind of fiberglass bathtub. He also has a linen closet behind the door. So we do have shelves for his linen closet in his bathroom. When we first began this build, I had stated that I wanted both of their rooms to be equal. 
both of their bathrooms and their closets, but it did not turn out that way, but it is what it is. So I wanted linen closets in every bathroom and it didn't happen that way. So here is the bathroom for Jackson, his closet and his bedroom. And then we will go out to the hallway to his brother's room. So here is Jaden's room. He only wanted a single because we will be having a pool in the back. So he wanted a view of the pool. So he has a single, even though these were supposed to be identical. And his bathroom is a little bit smaller, but he does have a bigger closet. So same kind of lighting. They're having to do patchwork on here. So still in the process of painting, same kind of shower tub combo, same kind of flooring same kind of um, countertop, and then the ribbon twisting waterfall faucet from Moen. I will link the sinks, the faucets, and the countertops and everything down for you guys, and all the light fixtures, and in here, same kind of ceiling fan. It's really pretty. It's got a gray tone. Love it. And then here is his closet, so he has a little bit of a bigger closet than his brother does. Double hanging on this side and double hanging on this side. So there are some benefits. His brother has a bigger bathroom. He has a bigger closet. So here is Jaden's room. So it's kind of neat that they have their own little wing as we call it. His room is here. And then all you have to do is just go down and here's Jackson's room. And then you can close it off if they want a little bit of privacy or if they get too loud and I want to watch TV and we can just close that off. So here, is kind of like a view of the house. So I'm super excited that we're finally getting to move in. We have been building this house for almost two years. So it's about time that we get in here. So I'll go ahead and show you outside, even though we are not finished, we still have construction going on. We still have our signs up about wearing booty covers. So this area right here is gonna be a screened in porch when they finally get to get to it. And then we will have our outdoor fireplace. It's a wood-burning fireplace. They're still in the process of actually bricking it as we speak. And then we will have our TV up here for our outdoor kitchen area. And then we will have the Traeger grill with a refrigerator and the sink and just a really nice kitchen area out here. And then also a green egg as well. So really nice to be able to sit out here and then we will have our pool within the next few months out here. These ceiling fans, I love them, how big they are, and they still have that gray look to those as well. And then all the lighting that is out here. So you can kind of see this area right over here is gonna be where the screened in porch is gonna come off of the master. So there's the outdoor area that's still in progress right now. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this custom home tour. This is something we've been working on and we're so proud to be able to actually be moving in this, even though we do have a lot of things that need to be done. We probably have about two or three months worth of stuff that need to be done, but I'm so excited that we are being able to finally move in. And I wanted to share this with you guys. If you like empty house tours, or if you just wanted to know what we were working on the last couple of years, or if you're somebody that's remodeling your house or building a new house and just wanted to kind of get some ideas, then I hope that this was a beneficial video for you, or I hope you just enjoyed the video if you do like to see these empty house tours. And one thing I did mention in case you liked the color of the wall, because I wanted some gray walls and I wanted a true gray. I didn't want beige undertones, purple undertones, green, blues. I did not want any of those undertones. I wanted like a straight, gray and i really like the way that this turned out it's a sherwin williams color it's called essential gray and i, I really like the way it kind of just pops with that white i just got a true basic white for the trim and the molding around and again i hope you enjoyed this video tour of the house that we've been working on the last couple of years and i hope to see you in my next video until then i hope you have a wonderful day